probably holds the record for the biggest long-distance relationship mm. ever. Just over a year ago, Emanuela Rose claims that she was abducted by a UFO and once on board, she met five aliens. Well, after getting to know one of them, uh, she's fallen in love um, and uh, he's now become her boyfriend. Well, in de desperate for him to propose, in fact, she joins us today alongside Emmanuel, whose spirit she has placed in the body of the inflatable doll. Good morning to both of you, I guess. Uh, welcome, it's lovely to have you here. Um, and just to sort of clarify, really, so is it, it's, he doesn't have a physical form like a human that we'd expect. So the doll is here, you explain. Yes, the doll's hair is a placeholder. And also, thank you for having me. Good morning, you guys are so amazing. He, thank you. Aliens love the show, by the way. And oh, good. And watching today, his pals will yeah, get it. It comes that. as no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. They, they're learning so much about humans from the show because you touch on so many topics. Oh, good. So Happy he, to help. Yeah, he's just, he's a placeholder. So, um, I, my alien boyfriend communicates with me telepathically. So he uses the power of his mind. We don't speak to each other. But because aliens are love and light, it's a lot of kind of powerful vibrations to behold as a human being. Yeah. So it's easier for me on a daily basis to just like hug and hold him. So it's like a symbolic representation. Of what I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that, that this is one particular alien, because we say aliens, it is a vast universe. So yeah. much like Star Trek or Star Wars, there must be different ones, loads of different ones. It just so happens to be that this particular species of alien is the one that's visiting us. Or are they all the same? Uh, as far as I know, see, my boyfriend doesn't want to tell me too much, because the less I know, the less the FBI can kind of interrogate me, if you see what I mean. But basically, there are many types of aliens. It's not just one. Uh, some of them come to Earth, some of them don't. Um, but in general, nobody wants to really come here. You know, we have this like entitlement situation with humanity. We feel like people want, you know, the aliens want to come here and take over, over the world. But in the alien communities on other planets, it's like a downgrade to come to Earth. Like when uh -huh. they get sent here, it's like, oh no. They don't know. really want to be here. Well, yeah. so they, but there are some that are here all the time. Yeah, yeah. Can you spot them? Are. Uh, not really, because they, you know, they're invisible to the human eye. Oh, but like I see. when they want to be seen, then they become seen. So let's let's go back. Let's yeah. go back because the how you met's pretty interesting, and this all started with a post on Instagram. Uh, yeah, it did. Um, a pair, well, I don't know how this works exactly, and he hasn't told me. But um, so originally, my thing is I'm a I'm an actor and I have an Instagram and I post a lot of fun stories about my life in London and dating and stuff like that. And I started doing these little sketches, these little jokes about Tinder and Bumble and how it would be better to get abducted by aliens than to do another date on Tinder. Basically. Well, be careful what you ask for because <laughs> I know. that's exactly what so, happened. So not only do, do, do these aliens watch the telly, but they're also on Instagram. Yeah, apparently. I don't think all of them are on Instagram. And they don't understand everything that happens here. Like, they don't understand the Kardashians, for example. And they were confusing uh, Boris Johnson with um, Mr. Bean for a while. Easily done. Yeah, another, another thing that's easily done. Yeah. So they, 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 they still switch a little bit, but I, like now they recognise the hair, because they don't really have right. it, too, they don't really know how it works. But, so yeah. you're in your flat in Canary Wharf. Yes. And you've written this post on Instagram, and uh, you are, what, sucked out of the flat? Well, how did you end up on the spaceship? Yeah, it, it wasn't that, like, aggressive, but it was kind of like that. So suddenly I saw this uh, greenish, yellowish beam of light through my window, and it just enveloped me in this, like, beautiful, calming way. And I remember just thinking, oh, my God, I think I'm getting abducted by aliens. This must be a dream. But it wasn't because it really happened. And I should have been scared, but I wasn't. And then when the beam kind of beamed, they beamed me up to the UFO, and it was just that crew, little spaceship, five of them, you know. Well, you'd think this would be a terrifying situation. Yeah. But actually, it wasn't. And more than that, when you saw Emmanuel, you connected yeah. deeply. I mean, you said in that moment you knew that he was your soulmate and you fell in love. So this is a relationship now. Yes, yes, it's been a year. So, and even like his name, because he doesn't have a name, because aliens don't have names the way that we do. But, uh, so I changed my name actually to match his. Mm -hmm. So now I changed my first name to my middle name, which is Emanuela. And he has like the male part of that. Can you go so on, that we can be can you go on yeah. dates? Where has he taken you? 
we've been we've been on dates. He doesn't really understand dates, so it's kind right. of like a rocky thing. Um, we we go we go out. Uh, of the atmosphere? Uh, that too, sometimes. I can't travel too far because my human body can't really take far travel, like to his planet in the Andromeda galaxy. But we go to like Cinemark and stuff. But go to? I, I, like Cinemark and like, you know, the cinema. And we just, he takes on a different form then, obviously, so that people don't see him. Does he, or when he's a human form, does he always take on the same form? Uh, no, he doesn't really take on a human form per se. It's more like... Who he, are you walking just, into the cinema with? Uh, well, th this one, but he, like, the actual alien becomes invisible then, just, you know... So you go on your own, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Anyone looking, you're going yeah. on your own. Yeah. Um, and what about, I mean, part of being in a relationship, sort of physicality and, yeah. and intimacy, are, are you intimate in a way of sorts? Uh, yes. I have to say, once you go alien, you'll forget Earthmen. Just saying. If really? If there's any ladies listening or, or uh, men, anyone in between who's interested in dating men and you're tired of men, I recommend the aliens. Why is it better? Um, how can I put this? The aliens are love and light and pure like energy. So we can't even go all the way that he can go because it would kill me. Wow. It's like he goes I'm... further than you would think it was possible to go. Yeah, it's like like compared to Earthmen, it's like times a million. Wow. Wowee. So yeah. you you would like to take this relationship to the next phase. You would like him to propose. Yeah. Is that likely to happen? Is he ready to commit to something like that? Yes, he has. He is learning the customs here. Uh, he did try and propose, but I'm pretty I'm pretty traditional, so I want a ring. And he doesn't really know what that is, mm -hmm. how to give me a ring. So I said I wanted like a big rock and he got me some pebbles from the beach. Like he just doesn't get it. So basically he has no earth money. So I'm just hoping, you know, maybe over time we can save up the money. To, I mean, he should to get me surely a be able to bring you some rare rock from somewhere in the Andromeda system. Uh, yeah, but like that would not be uh, that would not be acceptable because uh, it's so far foreign to our uh, Earth that uh, people would know straight away. And I don't want him to end up in Area 51 with the other aliens. Do you worry about being on here today? Uh, well, that we, somebody might. Yeah. Well, we did talk about it, and um, the aliens they're watching. You know, um, we decided that uh, because they like the show and they like you know they they just. They want to be known. Yeah. They're worried about us. They, you know. So they should be. Yeah. And the thing is, that I would have thought, when well, next time you speak to him, tell him to make themselves known so that they can tell us what a mess we're making of it down here, how much better it could be if we did it a different way. We'd love a very clean power source. Please yeah. pass that on to him as well, because there must be some brilliant way to power this spaceship. You know, then we can get rid of fossil fuels. They could help us enormously. Tell him he's being selfish. OK, well, that will be an interesting conversation tonight. Um, tonight? I agree. Yeah, it's, well, tonight, of course. Where is he at the moment? Uh, it's somewhere in the atmosphere. He doesn't really tell me his coordinates, again, just in case the FBI... So, do, the, you know, I assume he doesn't operate the spaceship on his own. Uh, no, so no, when he, he comes to see you, he, he, he brings his entire crew think, oh, my God, we've got to go to Earth, he's seen her again. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They're all understanding. Yeah. You oh, yeah, they're really nice. And they would love to help us. But the thing is, they're afraid that if they make themselves known to the population, it will start some kind of a war. You know, they've seen the I documentaries. Think, I don't think it could stuff. be any worse than it is. Do tell them to come. <sighs> maybe we, that's we, we true. We would like some help. Maybe they don't really understand how bad you, maybe things you are Maybe you are the conduit to saving the planet. I hope so. Oh, listen, thank you for coming in. Thank you for bringing Emmanuel as uh, well. Lovely to meet you. you. Thank oh, it was you. great to meet you guys, you you guys as well. Thank you.